Peace y'all, I am ICC and today I will show you how to sync Bluetooth controllers to your Titan 2. The Titan 2 can connect to many different consoles including but not limited to the PlayStation 3 and 4, Xbox 360 and 1, Nintendo Switch, Raspberry Pi and more. It supports controllers from all of those consoles plus many more, including Retrobit and 8-bit dough controllers as well as arcade sticks. Hori, Scuff, Razer Raiju, and Mad Cats are all supported. You can cross-play with any of the supported controllers on any of the supported consoles. I personally like to use my PlayStation 4 controller on everything besides retro and arcade stuff. Then I use my SN30 Pro and my N30 arcade stick respectively. If you want to use an Xbox One controller on everything, that is an option too. So anyways, for now, I'm going to show you how to sync Bluetooth controllers. I'm not going to do a video for every single controller unless it requires something special. The first two steps would be installing your Bluetooth module and updating the firmware on the Titan 2. If you need help doing either of those steps, I have a video for it. Just look for this thumbnail here and I will show you exactly how to install the module and update the firmware. But for now, let's sync a controller. So what you need to do is plug your Titan 2 into your PC or Mac via the probe port on the back. Then we need to launch the GTuner 4 software. If you do not have it installed, you can download it from consoletuner.com and then make sure you get the right version for your PC or Mac. Once you have the software up and running, remember to do that firmware update. Just click Tools, check for updates, and update your Titan 2. It may take a minute or two, but it won't be very long. Now we need to click the Device Configuration tab, then just come up here near the top, there is Pair Controller Wirelessly. Don't click it yet, first let's put the controller we want to use into sync mode. For a PlayStation 4 controller, hold the Share button and the PlayStation button at the same time for about 5 seconds. Once you see the rapid flashing on the LED, then you can come back to your computer and click Pair Controller Wirelessly. That's all you need to do. For Xbox One and Xbox 360, power on the controller and then hold the sync button for about 3 seconds. Once you see a fast LED blink, now you can click Pair Controller Wirelessly and it's done. For Wii U Pro, just tap the sync button. Once you see the lights blinking, click pair controller wirelessly. For PlayStation 3, click the pair controller wirelessly button and then plug your controller in. The LEDs on the controller will blink and then you can unplug it. You can use almost any Bluetooth controller and support for more controllers is always being added. So if it doesn't work now, just check back at a later time. And here we go. I have, this is actually the PlayStation 3. This is not the PlayStation 4. You can tell if you, you know, just look at the menus a little bit, but this is my PlayStation 4 controller on the PlayStation 3 console, wireless through the Titan 2. I'm just gonna show a little bit of video on a few of the controllers working. If I show all of the controllers and all of the combinations on all of the consoles, 
we're going to be here all day. So I'm just going to show a few controllers on a few different consoles. For example, the PlayStation 4 controller on the PlayStation 3 console. So, um, I haven't turned on my PlayStation 3 in a while, but you can see when I hit down, it goes down. I guess I'll just click Marvel vs. Capcom 2. New arcade. I mean, we'll just get all into that. That doesn't matter. So, okay, I'm going to pick Ryu. I guess I'll do... Akuma, and last one, I'm just going to pick whoever it's on, and I'll just... Ruby Heart. I don't know Ruby Heart. I'm going to change that. Go to someone... I don't know. This doesn't matter too much. I'm just going to pick Wolverine. Get to some gameplay. It works great so far. I mean, you see I'm backing up. I'll jump. They punch, punch, kick, kick. R1. Oh, okay, that's assist. Oh, I, should, I guess I should block. L1 is the other assist. R2 may not have a function. I know to tag is the two and to tag is the two. Throw a fireball. So, yeah, looks good to me. Looks great to me. Now we're wireless. So we're gonna cut it here. I'm gonna set up, uh, I guess let's do Xbox One on the PlayStation 3 since I'm already on the PlayStation 3. So I'm just gonna hit pause right here, bring it back, Xbox controller, same game, same round, same everything. I'm just gonna hit pause, so I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Keep in mind, after you set it up once, the files for your controller are stored on the Titan 2, so you do not have to keep syncing the controllers. All I had to do here was turn off my PlayStation controller and turn on the Xbox controller, and that's all I had to do to switch. Now I'm over here playing as Ryu on my Xbox One controller on the PlayStation 3 console. So, I mean, again, punch, punch. Well, as soon as he stops attacking me, I'll show you the buttons that... Okay, dude. What is this? Okay, all of a sudden this dude wants to try so hard. What is he doing? Get some assist in here. I don't know what this guy is doing all of a sudden. All of a sudden he's like trying really hard. Can't even like move all of a sudden. Just gonna keep calling some assist. I wanted to get Ryu in here, but okay. So, anyways, there's the Xbox One controller working on the PlayStation 3. Next, I guess we'll go to the Wii U controller, and I'll just hit pause again on the game, and we'll be right back with the Wii U Pro. So we are back with the Wii U Pro on Marvel vs. Capcom. All right, so anyways, I'm gonna try a different game now just because I've showed a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom. So we're going to quit that. So this game takes a long time to load. I'm actually gonna cut out all that loading and just start right here because that was ridiculous. So, All right, we'll just do, I don't know, free battle. I'll just start it up real quick. Pick a few guys, I'll just say, yeah, that's fine. Pick a few teams. So yeah, here's Kunio Kun on the PlayStation 3 with a Wii U Pro Controller. So let's check it out, let's see how it is, see if there's any lag. I haven't played the game in a while. And I am just one of the, oh no, I'm just the, I'm a cheerleader, I'm not Kunio. Get off. Oh, I forgot the button. Let's jump. Okay, there. Oh, I hit the wrong button. How do you... Oh, no. See, I'm hitting the wrong buttons for jump. Dang it. Okay. Last 
place. Oh no. I think first place has a lot of points. And so green down here is in first by a healthy amount. I'm catching up slowly though. Hopefully after this, if he finishes fourth on the screen, or if I could take points away, then I might be able to catch up on the screen. Trying to take some points. Nice. Take points from Cuneo and the other guy. So, first place, there we go. Cuneo Kun on the three with the Wii U controller. I, I do like this Wii U controller. That is uh, very nice. Comfortable, not too heavy, easy to sync. So we'll do, I guess, one more, the Wii U Pro Controller on the PlayStation 4. And then I guess we'll call it a day after that because we could be here all day. Okay, so now on the PlayStation 4 with my Wii U Pro controller still, one of my favorite controllers. And I'm just gonna pick something real quick. Works great. I have uh, no scripts running by the way. You don't need any scripts just for Bluetooth or just for crossplay. Don't need any scripts running. Also, it does save your information. If you sync it once, you do not have to sync it again. All you have to do is power on the controller. Once you power on this controller, it'll sync. So yeah, I mean, there's Double Dragon 4 on the PlayStation 4. You got punch, punch, kick, jump. Little special moves up top. Nope. Oh. So, there's Double Dragon 4. I'm ICC, y'all. Thanks for watching. Peace.